So today we're going to have a quick look at the Dyson battery packs. Now um, this is the Dyson V8 which I bought some time ago and it looked pretty good and it works quite well except the battery pack life is pretty horrible. So I thought I'd have a quick look and see what it is um, and you also notice that the battery packs they seem to die off pretty quick they're quite expensive to buy a new one so I thought I'd have a quick look inside it really and start anyone else that might be curious they can have a gander. On the back of the battery pack here we've got 21.6 volts and we've got 65 watts so we know that's 65 watts power divided by 21.6 volts gives us roughly 3000 milliamps. Let's have a quick look in there then. Right, so these things are a bit of a bugger to open, to be honest with you. I spent ages trying to bludger it around, but finally managed to get it open. Um, it does frustrate me that, that when they make these things, they don't make them um, changeable so that you can just open it up and change the 18650 cells that will be in there. Instead, they make this fancy cartridge system. There we go. So the, to open it, there's these little clips there all the way around the outside. You have to get a screwdriver in them. And there is a little sneaky screw which goes in that end there as well. But from memory, I think that was about it. There you're just your battery terminals on there. <clears throat> so we open it straight away. We've got battery management system here just for charging. There we go. So that just keeps the, uh, we'll cut the battery power if the cell voltage drops below a certain level. And uh, when it charges up to typically 4.2 volts, um, it will cut off the charge as well. We slide this out. We can see it's actually just two-part plastic case in there, which, like I said, is a bit frustrating because essentially this just goes in the bin and is useless. And then we've got our fancy little battery management system. It looks quite sophisticated, actually. There's a lot more gadgetry on there than you would if you bought one of these off eBay. Um, I'm not sure what else it does. And then we've got some quite neatly packed-in cells. Don't quite know if I can open this or not. It looks pretty as if it was assembled and then spot welded into place. Can't see any obvious way to open it. So I can't see the brand of the cells, but I will have a go. It's not going to be easy, this. Right, so after a bit of a scrap of this thing, some broken plastic and some scissors, I've managed to get one of the cells out. Now I was expecting them to be Panasonic's or something like that. It says on here, INR uh, 20700A. I don't know who makes this. It's obviously maybe shrink wrapped, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I don't know, probably Panasonic or somebody like that. Um, so I might go and charge this and just see what the capacity is. Um, but they're supposed to be 3000 milliamps each, which actually, in fact, if you do the maths, um, I had a quick look online and the motor, the digital motor is um, about 400 watts. Um, and that's based on the fact that the V6 apparently is a 360 watt motor. And they said there's roughly a 10% increase in power. So we assume it's 400 watts. The battery, when new and fully charged can deliver 65 um, watt hours, which would give us um, a quick bit of mass, give us um, at full suction, probably no more than 10 minutes of runtime. So as soon as these start to go, um, there's not really much margin of slack. As soon as they start to lose their, uh, their capacity, um, the thing isn't gonna last more than about five or six minutes max, I would say at full power which is kind of limiting really if you ever have to keep, if you want to do the whole house with it, you can't, you have to keep charging thing up. And also the charge rate's horrendous. I don't know why it's so slow, but it appears that these things charge, I don't know what the charge rate is, but it, it seems to be about um, three hours or so, something ridiculous like that. Anyway, so there we have it. That is what the Dyson battery looks like inside. And like I said, I'm going to pull all these cells out to see if they've gone bad or not, or um, whether there was just one particular, you can see there that, I had a little bit of a flame out job when I shorted the um, connections out whilst cutting the magnesium strip off. Anyway, it seems to be pretty well made, slightly over the top actually. It's got all these sort of fun sponge um, 
things around there so it all fits tight and doesn't rattle anything so I'll give them that at least but then they are quite expensive I think these are about 25 pounds or 35 pounds or something each so quite a lot of money anyway there you go